In this video, I'll show you how to make a cool full width menu on your Elementor website. So when you click on this hamburger icon, you can see this cool entrance animation with all the elements, with the search bar, the main menu, and also with this bottom menu. If we reopen this, you can see that animation again. And when you hover over on this, you can see different images with each of the menu items. And also with this bottom menu, we have this cool hover effect. Also, when you click on this search bar, there is a nice animation where you can search anything from your website. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make all of these things. Alright, so we are going to create our menu as a header. So from the dashboard, go to templates and from here go to theme builders. And this theme builder option is only available in Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can also get it from my link on the description. Okay, now beside this header, let's click on this plus icon to create a new header. Let's close this. And here we will start everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial, you can also get it from my template shop as a ready-made template. And here as a bonus, you will get different versions of this menu. The default one, also the fixed header, also the transparent and non-transparent version. Basically, you will get all the possible combinations of this header and all of them you will get both in the container and the old section column version. Okay, but if you don't want this ready-made template, you can also start it from scratch. So first of all, let's take a new container and inside this container, we will take all the elements we need for our menu. Here, first of all, let's make it to full width and remove this default padding. So make it to zero. And inside that, first of all, we need to create our header. So let's create a, another new container inside that. Here on the left side, we will add our logo and the, on the right side, our hamburger menu icon. So from here, let's drag an image, add this logo, but this looks too big. So let's reduce its height and give the width auto. After that, here we will add the icon, but we will not use the default icon widget. Instead, let's add an, another container. Let's open our structure panel. And from here, we can see that container here. Let's drag this image right before this container here. And here, I want to mention that you need to follow the exact same structure like me. Notice carefully where I place all of the containers and elements. And for any container, look carefully if I make its width to full width or boxed width, okay? Now inside this container, we need an divider widget to create our this icon. Here we can see some gaps. So let's make it to zero. Let's duplicate this multiple times. To reduce the gap between them, let's go to this band container and make the gap to four pixel. Also remove this default padding. Let's reduce its width. And also make sure to give its overflow to the hidden, otherwise the hover effect on this icon will not work in properly. Now to place this thing at the right spot, let's go to our this band container and make the reduction to the row, just if a content is placed between and make the align to the center. Let's also give some padding. Perfect. After this header, let's create the left part of our this menu, which we call the sidebar. So for that, let's create an, another new container and drag it right outside of this here. Drag it to the bottom, give its width to 110 pixel, height 100 VH. Inside this sidebar, we have this logo and this hamburger icon, which we have created just before. And here this icon will work as a closing menu trigger. Okay, so from here, we can just copy our this container and paste it to here. And then to add the logo, let's add an image widget right inside this container and upload the logo, reduce its width 80% and here we need some margin at the top. So for this container, give some top margin and to place them on the center, let's go to this band container and make it to center. Here we also need to make its background color to white. Right now it's transparent, but we can see that white color because of this page background color. So make this background color white and let's go to this positioning, make it to fix and let's place this on the right side outside of our screen. 
so from the left let's make it to 100 percent now let's create this main part of our menu let's drag this new container and drag it right outside here to the bottom and first of all make its background color to this dark color and remove this default padding previously we have given the sidebar width to 110 pixel so for this container we will use the remaining width so go to this width option go to custom and write it down like this here you can see we have used the css calc function and you also need to follow this exact same text okay to place them on the right side let's make this align self to end perfect now inside this container we have two main parts the middle part and also this close icon on this corner and inside this middle part we have this top portion where we have the search and this main menu and at the bottom we have this bottom menu so for this middle part let's add a, another container inside that and for this container we also want to leave some space on this right side so make its width like before 100% minus 110 pixel and give the height 100 vh here we have some border on this right side so go to this border option and put that border let's also give some top and bottom padding now inside this container let's add an, another container where we will place our search and the main menu and here for this make this gap to zero and also padding to zero and inside this let's add the widget search here we can see this search widget if you are using the older version of elementor you probably see the search form widget instead in that case you need to update your elementor to the latest version to get this search widget otherwise the animation with this widget will not working properly okay let's track it to here and the first thing we need to do is change this search text change this typography remove this white background color so make it to fully transparent and make this text color to fully white so when anyone search on this they can see that white color here also we can see this default border let's also remove this remove this padding only give some padding at the bottom let's give some space on the left and instead of full width let's make it a custom width right now just keep it like that when we paste our custom code the code will automatically fix this design now we want to add an search icon beside this search text so let's search for an icon widget drag it right after here upload an svg this one i will also provide this icon on my website you can also download it from there okay let's remove this background color so make it to fully transparent and also give it a size so here with our custom code what i want to do i want to clone this whole widget and place it inside this search widget beside this search text so you don't need to show this icon widget right outside here so let's hide this from all of the devices now let's create our main menu so search for an icon list widget drag it to right here let's delete these demo items and here we don't need this icon change this text but if you look at this we can see this number here looks much smaller than our main text so we need to wrap this portion of this text inside an span tag like this duplicate this and create the second one go to style and change this font change the color to white and let's place them on the right side now we need to add the images when we hover over on these items basically we need to wrap all the images inside a container so let's take an another new container inside our this container and add an image here before uploading we need to prepare our images properly 
So you can see here each of our images are 250 by 350 pixel. So we need to maintain this exact aspect ratio for our images. For example, here we can see one of our images. So if we open this in Photoshop, here you can see this. Just go to this crop tool and from here we can put our aspect ratio. So give it to 250 by 350 pixel. You can also adjust the image to find the perfect position of your cropping and press enter. And here before saving, make sure your images are not too big in size. Otherwise, it may take too much time to load your page. Here this image size is 2800 by 4000 pixel, which is too big. So let's reduce this from this image menu. Go to image size. Make it to 350 by 490 pixel, which is a little bit bigger than our aspect ratio so that our image will look more crisp and sharp on our browser. Okay. Now from the file, click on this export as option and make sure to save this as JPG file and click on export and save this image. So like that we have prepared all the images. Now let's upload all of this to our website and upload our first image. Let's duplicate this and this is our second image. Okay, we have created all the five images for all of our these five menu items. But here we don't want to show this like that. We only want to show this when we hover over on this. So initially I want to hide all of these images. So go to this container and hide it for all of the devices. After that, let's also create our bottom menu. So we can just duplicate this and drag it right outside of our this container here. Drag it to here. And without this menu, we don't need any span. Change this text. Let's make the font size much smaller. And also adjust the spacing. And lastly, we also need to add a close button at the corner here. And like before, we also don't want to use the icon widget. So let's take an another new container outside this container here. Make it to 40 by 40 pixel. Make the position absolute from the right top corner. Let's also remove this default padding. Now inside this, let's add and divider widget and make the default gap to zero. Choose a light color and I want to rotate this in 45 degree angle and let's duplicate this divider and for this one I want to change this angle to minus 45 degree. Okay, the angle looks good but we need to position them properly. So go to this parent container again, make the justify content to center and gap to zero. Perfect. We have done almost everything. Now before adding our custom code, we need to add some classes with some of our elements. So first go to our very first container, this one and add the class name mdw distorted image menu area then with our this container let's add mdw distorted image menu bar with the sidebar which is our this container let's add mdw distorted image menu sidebar and here inside that we have a similar looking icon so also with that add the same class name with this next container mdw distorted image menu wrapper then go to this our search icon and add this class with our this main icon list widget mdw distorted image menu with this next container this class also with this bottom menu mdw distorted image menu bottom and lastly with this container mdw distorted image menu close and lastly to add our custom code let's search for an html widget and drag it to here right before our this container and paste this custom code let's publish this click on add condition and if you want to keep this for your entire website just keep it like that and click on save and close now if you click on here 
we can see every animation is working properly also this hover animation working the hover animation with this bottom menu if we click on this search bar it's also working properly we just need to fix a little things like we can see this search icon we need to place it a little bit top also when you close this menu or open this we can see a black background through our this header so go to our this container which is our header so here i want to give a white background color and the background problem will be solved then go to the search icon and here let's adjust its margin also here i want to show our this bottom menu always at the bottom of the screen so to do this go to our this container and make the justify content to space between okay we have fixed everything and here also if you look at our this custom code you can see i have also give you several options like the menu hover color menu item cap border color number color and so many other things so if you want you can also customize this value everything is looking good now we also need to check it from our tablet and mobile devices so on tablet first of all we need to reduce the width of our this sidebar let's go to this tablet device and this one here is our sidebar Let's make it with 280 pixel and when you make this our logo inside looks too much small so let's increase its size so here with our this container as we make it with 280 pixel so we also need to adjust this containers width according to that so let's write down 100 percent minus 80 pixel and we also want to reduce the spacing on this right side here so for that do the same thing with our this inner container 100% minus 80 pixel now let's look at this menu and here this font size looks too big so let's make it to 70 pixel and also reduce the font size for this search if you don't see any changes after changing the font size you just need to save this page and if you refresh it again you can now see it perfectly Lastly, on mobile, we can see this is our sidebar. Basically, on mobile, we don't want to show this sidebar. So let's go to the mobile device. And here, this container is our sidebar. I want to hide this from the mobile device. And here, let's fix this icon. So go to this container and make the width 32 pixel. Also, fix this close icon. Fix its width 40 pixel. Then let's also reduce the font size furthermore. Here we have also an border on the right side. Let's also remove this. So go to this container. Here we have that border, make it to zero. Also reduce the size of the search bar. Reduce the space on the left. And also the width. Right now everything looks good also from the mobile. Except we have some little issues with the search icon. We need to place it a little bit bottom with this text. And also if we see it from a little bit lower height devices, we can see the bottom menu disappeared. So to fix this, let's go to our this container and make this to no wrap. And go to this icon widget and adjust its margin. And right now this looks good from all the devices. So that's how we can create this full width menu on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.